Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. Back with another video. As usual, um, I just got done doing a gum out on this car, so check out that video as well after you watch this one. This is, I believe it's four years, if not five years with this car. Oh, I believe it's five years. And it's my first time doing a gum out with it as well, so check out that video as well. It's gonna be uploaded before this. But this is the five years with this car. Uh, at 95, 398 miles or 95,398,000 miles. Almost at 100,000 miles and still don't have really no problems with this car. Um, I can really go back quickly and look. Really haven't done anything but cosmetics, basic modifications, upgrades, things like that. But the most I've done to this car, I think one of the first things I did, just a recap, it's on my channel as well. Um, the most I've did, one of the first things I did, one of the um, the sensors lights on the um, on the rear bumper got loose, and I just really glued it back, and that was pretty much it. Uh, you can go watch that video. It was years ago. It was like when I first bought it, like a year after I first bought this car. If not, I think it was a couple months after I bought the car, if I'm not mistaken. But but that was one of the fixes. Just glue it back, put the sensor back in, glue to both sides to it, and call it a day. Um, I think the next thing I did to it, which is more recent, one of my recent videos, is change out the thermostat and change out the um, what is it called? Change out the um, the thermostat fuse, the little the radiator fan fuse. That's really the most I did. Um, I know that's pretty much nothing else other than oil changes. Um, if you didn't know, if you haven't watched my videos, you're new to the channel. Um, I put the Lucas oil stabilizer with four quarts of oil to keep the car running how it should now granted you really don't i'm not gonna say you don't need it but i'm just what is it called it's like a form of prepping and just stand on top of everything so my engine's gonna run damn near forever by doing stuff like that you're gonna not run forever but you're gonna make it outlast how it would normally normally cars quit at like 230,000 miles 250,000 miles I don't have time for that. I don't have time to replace cars and do all that type of stuff. We know we in the world full of inflation. So yeah, once he had 250,000 miles, probably won't be able to replace his engine. This engine is solid. It is the uh, four cylinder, naturally aspirated uh, Tiger Shark engine, 2.4 liter, just like it is in the darts. They are reliable because I have had a dart before. Not 2.4 in the dart, but the 2.0 in the Dodge Dart. The 2.4 is just as reliable in my opinion. Haven't had no issues, no hiccups, no nothing with this car. Nothing never, nothing has never left it be. This, <clears throat> I'm sorry, nothing has never left me. I mean, this car has never left me stranded, or my wife stranded. My wife drives this car for the most part. But other than that, this basic routine maintenance, oil changes, um, thermostat. Um, and the thermostat issue wasn't even a thermostat. It was the radiator fan fans that the radiator fan fuse that blew. So I never had to replace the thermostat. Shouldn't have replaced it, but it's a good that I did replace it with a better rated thermostat in the first place. So haven't had any issues since, no overheating or anything like that. But for the most part, haven't done anything else to the car other than cosmetics, um, up, uh, decals and things like that. But um, honestly, that's pretty much it. Um, these cars are like the worst. Honestly, they are if you go look and do statistics. These are the worst of the Dodge. Dodges damn near, or almost. But I haven't had any issues with it. It's a 2017 Dodge Journey. So really haven't had any issues, no hiccups, no transmission going out. I thought that, I thought about this car with a six speed transmission, but it has a four speed, which is actually better. So it might be slower, but it's actually uh, better to have this because that six speed paired with that V6, it's not as good. It's not as good, the cop speeding like a mud. They want us to obey the law, but I don't want to make no sense to me. They'll end up speeding, but I know OKC cops, they don't they don't care. They'll shit, they'll speed right beside you damn near. As long as you ain't going 10 over, it looks like out here. But um Yeah man, I really once again it's a recap. I haven't did anything else to the car, no major repairs. Um I do gotta do some um some other routine maintenance. Um uh, what's it called? Grease my ball joints, and that's just about it. Uh no signs of the brakes wearing out yet. No signs of anything, no, like once again, no hiccups or nothing, no sounds, no weird sounds from the suspension, anything that's coming up or from the engine or from the transmission. So really solid car so far. I know for my for my sake, I take care of my car. If you watch my camera, I, I take care of my car. So as long as you're taking care of it, stand on top of the things, your car won't mess up. 
So whether it's an expensive repair or something that you gotta do, or whether it's inexpensive, take care of your car. That's all it is at the end of the day. But it don't really matter what car it is, even a, once again, I think I say this all the time, even a BMW can be reliable. It's gonna cost you way more to keep take care of it, but as long as you are doing the routine maintenance, changing out the brake fluids, changing out the transmission fluid, changing the engine oil on time, as long as you're doing things like that, you won't have any hot so. Oh, thank God I moved from over here. You won't have any issues. So even with my town car, I haven't had any issues with it. But I did a video on that. So go watch that video. I haven't had any major issues with that as well. Go watch that video as well. Lincoln Town Car. Two years with it, 20 years old or whatever. This car is 2017, so this is what, 18, 19, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This car is six years old, almost 90, 95, 404 right now. I'm just not driving, but other than that, been pretty reliable. In my point of view, been pretty reliable because I take care of it. For somebody who don't take care of that car, it might not be reliable. They're not doing the regular uh, maintain, uh, <clears throat> routine checks. Like That's why I have that checklist, so that maintenance checklist as well. So. Just go around, check your fluids, check your, check your, um, check your brake fluid, check your radiator fluid, check all that stuff. Cause I know my t coolant tank got low. If I didn't check it, I would have, I would have, I mean, I'm saying it would have, it would have eventually dried out and then I would have overheated on the highway somewhere. But just check those basic, basic routine checks. Make sure your tires, tire pressures, uh, is good. Think simple stuff like that. It'll take you less than five minutes to do. Just checking basic stuff like that. You don't always need to go to a mechanic. Especially in this time, it's too much knowledge. I know everybody, I know everybody isn't um, <clears throat> well versed or well scripted in this area of uh, maintaining a vehicle, but.